All right, folks, we're going to do this one live just like we usually do them for the spoilers sometimes, you know, usually sometimes there's a kind of two words that go against each other. But here we are. I'm going to make sure that my pineapple is on the screen here. It's pineapple, and we're talking about some My Hero Academia spoilers. Now, I believe the spoilers are for chapter 227, and they are coming by our, our way by 4chan, it seems like. It seems like a lot of the spoilers are coming from 4chan nowadays. For some reason... The actual scan leaks this week are late, so it, it seems like they're just, for whatever reason, not coming out. And that's fine, it just sounds like we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to rely on summaries and stuff like that. So, in this video, we're gonna go over the few spoilers that are actually out. I'm gonna try to return the true form and do these videos every week um, with an accompanying video actually discussing the chapter. So let's get into it with an intro that hopefully doesn't lag. Let's hope, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so we have, I don't know why Todoroki's on the screen right now, but sure, let, let that happen. All right, so let's get the pineapple out of here. Let's get Toga on here, and let's get Todoroki off of here. In the most recent chapter of My Hero, uh, after, uh, before the one that's on right now, I'm bumbling right now, uh, Toga fought Chitose. She basically wiped her out using Ochako's quirk. I actually have a stick that I should have used that is half Ochako and half Toga, but that happened. Now, according to the spoilers for the next chapter that's coming out in a few days, uh, officially out on Monday, please do actually support the official release. Um, Chitose is confirmed dead. So Toga used uh, Ochako's quirk to kill Chitose, which is, you know, and I actually think that's impressive enough that it does warrant me getting the Toga Ochako stick out here. Um, why not, right? Might as well represent it correctly. Get the moment right. Here it is. Um, yeah, like, she totally kills a, uh, the Quirk Liberation Army member just right off the bat. So here we are thinking, and this arc is already going on. Like, you know, it's a little bit of a little, little lengthy, a little bit, right? But she just kills the member outright. Um, and it's, it's sad because I thought, I kind of wanted to see more of an explanation on the the wristband that the Chitose had, uh, Chitose had. I wanted to see a little more of that quirk in use. And I, in general, I want to see the, the quirk liberation armies live, uh, members live a little longer so that we can see them in the story more and kind of see this conflict drawn out a little more. But here we see Toga just using Ochako's quirk to flat out murder all of those quirk liberation army members, uh, showing that once again, Horikoshi is putting in an effort to make sure that there is death in My Hero Academia. I'm gonna do a video about death in My Hero Academia, and when I brought up that subject, a lot of my friends are like, death? Who dies? You know, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so Toga kills Chitose, and we hear uh, from the spoilers that Reed Destro, which is, you know, the pointy nose joker looking guy who is the head of the New Quirk Liberation Army, we hear that I think it's because of this that he cries at some point in this chapter. So look out for him to just be crying and probably give a little monologue. Um, through that, we learned that all of the fights between all of the League of Villains members, and I'm gonna, you know, just put a few of them on the screen right here, all of the fights between all of the League of Villains members and the giant Toga Ochako, um, and the Quirk Liberation Army members are being recorded. And we also learned that there's an hour and 20 minutes until Gigantomachia gets to where they are and starts rampaging and destroying the entire city. So it's basically a race against the clock because Shigaraki's plan was originally for them to pretty much weaken and soften the Quirk Liberation Army members enough that when uh, Gigantomachia gets there, he, he can pretty much nuke the place and destroy the place and get rid of them effectively after they rescue Jiren. If they, if Giron, right? I don't know. I'm going to say Giron because that seems like it's more of it. Um, so that's pretty much the plan that they have. Uh, but it seems like in the meanwhile, they're pretty much just taking out the Quirk Liberation Army members. I mean, Toga just flat out takes one out. And it, Toga is actually confirmed to be down in this uh in these spoilers. It's said that she's down. She's not dead. She probably dips out into that alleyway from last chapter and uh, just falls out and nobody's probably going to find her for the duration of the RV. Probably aren't going to see her until it's time for us to leave. Um, but so I know a lot of people are wondering who is the next fight we're probably going to see, right? And in this chapter, we apparently see Shigaraki and let's put him in the forefront. Do, 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 Shigaraki is going to be 
the next person you're going to see getting some action. Because in this chapter, Shigaraki is going to be just just killing somebody. And we don't exactly know who, even though we're going to... I'm going to go through the Reddit thread that actually has some of these spoilers in it in a bit. And it has some additional information that is a little less credible than the leaks that we have now. But I guess it's all coming from 4chan. So how, how credible could it be? You know, it you have, kind of just have to take it or leave it at this point. Um, so Shigaraki apparently kill somebody and we're gonna really 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 speak about shigaraki a bit in this video shigaraki apparently kills somebody right and we learn about shigaraki's backstory we learn more that uh more about shigaraki's backstory at least we learn that uh his sister her name was hana which is you know kind of a flowerish name um and shigaraki just starts like absolutely tripping out he starts drooling at the mouth he starts like acting really really weird and when he when he is in that kind of state it sounds like he touches somebody, and this is the confusing part here, right? It sounds like it sounds like he erases somebody without touching them. That's what the initial leak was saying. The initial leak was saying that Ch Chigaraki goes into some sort of state, some sort of mind state, some something, right? Um, he starts drooling, and then people start getting like erased. You know how like Chigaraki can touch people and decay them without him touching them. Now, that makes, I mean, we're, we're seeing that characters are getting upgrades, right? The last arc of My Hero Academia was with all the characters, the students fighting each other, and we saw a lot of them get upgrades, our main characters got upgrades. Um, and now we're seeing Toga, she, her, uh, her quirk got upgraded, and we're hearing that Shigaraki is killing people. He's pretty much Thanos snapping them. He's just, you're dead. That, I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's a little ridiculous if Shigaraki is just walking up to people and they're just, poofing out of existence now that leak if it's to be believed it makes it sound like shigaraki is just absolutely broken but there's another there's another person that apparently in that reddit thread was claiming to have said that shigaraki apparently like touched the person and then the people around them in the group started decaying along with them and now that sounds like it makes a lot more sense than they're just being this sort of aura around Shigaraki because the, his quirk is like based on contact, right? One second, I got a cough. His quirk is based on contact. He has to touch you for it to activate, right? So it, it would be weird for that to kind of just turn into a quirk where like being in his presence or like him looking at you activates the decay. That would be a little like OP and just, it wouldn't really make sense as like a progression for how his quirk works. Now, my initial theory maybe like just my initial first thought when I I heard that this happened. I thought that maybe it could have been that in the time that we didn't see between Shigaraki and the doctor talking or just maybe in some time that we haven't seen, it could be that somehow Chis uh, Chisaki's quirk was given to Shigaraki or somehow kind of modified onto Chisaki, which might have done something to his mental state a little, uh, I mean, to Shigaraki, which might have done something to his mental state, but also given him the ability to pretty much decay people that are on a surface that he's touching with all five fingers, you know? That's kind of like how I would envision him and Chisaki's quirk working together, like being able to decay somebody that's on a surface that he touches with all five of his fingers. But... If, if it's actually the case that he touched somebody and they started decaying and then like the people around them started decaying because they were near them, then I think that that actually makes sense uh, with what we know about Shigaraki's quirk. Because Shigaraki, and it kind of goes along with the whole, you know, character awakens their quirk thing that I like to do with video titles. Because Shigaraki, like, he, he touches the person and he starts decaying them, right? So if you've ever had like, bread let's say let's say let's say you have a bunch of slices of bread let's say one of those slices of bread in that bag is start like starting to rot and decay and, and grow mold on it and you start seeing the little dots on it but you see that the other pieces don't have those dots on it the it's not actually the case that those like pieces of bread are okay to eat like all the pieces of bread in that bag are now bad like they they're all decaying at an like a faster rate because of that one bad slice of bread so for Shigaraki to be able to touch something and make it decay and then kind of have that spread to the things around it so that they decay without him even have to, uh, having to touch it, it makes sense with the theme of his quirk being to like 
control the decay rate of things. You know what I mean? Like, you you can kind of see how it makes sense. Now, look, at the same time, you, you can say it's kind of a, a, a ass pull. You can say it, right? And... But that's something that you can say for any power-up in anything. And I will say, at the very least, and I know this is going to be some minimal, 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 minimal uh, explaining by Horikoshi. Uh, I will say, at the very least, that what made what made me like just get rid of the idea that this was something new for Shigaraki, that this was something that maybe he uh, was, was given to him because of the Chisaki arm or, or whatever is going on, right? Um, one, just... Shigaraki has been fighting Gigantomachia for, like, days and nights for the last, like, how long? Like, days, weeks, I believe, maybe even months. I don't remember the actual time. But he's been fighting, like, another super powerful being with, like, at, like, a, I remember, like, the, just the amount of time that he's been in combat over the last, let's just even say the last week, is, like, superhuman. It doesn't make any sense. So, obviously, there's gonna be, as a reaction to that, there's gonna be some sort of growth in his character, in his... Uh, in his abilities and in his quirk. But even if you want to look beyond that, when we're told that Shigaraki apparently kills his family, right? Remember I did the video about, it's it's a little confusing to me how Shigaraki as a little kid could have t touched everyone in his house with his five fingers and gotten rid of them. It led me to think that maybe what it actually is, is that All for One killed Shigaraki's family and gave him this quirk that, uh, and, and kind of like brainwashed him into thinking like, hey, you killed your family, you did this, become my tool, blah, blah, blah. But now it, that this kind of brings that into question because the, the whole reason for that theory was it was confusing to me how Shigaraki could touch one person and like, you know what I mean? Like how, how is no one stopping this little kid before he kills his sister, the dog, his dad? It, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's hard to believe. But here we, we see that he can touch one person if the leak is to be, uh, to be believed, right? He, we, can, like, we see that he can touch one person and the people around the person die. So it kind of leads me to believe that as a child, that's actually what he did. Like he, he used this version of his power. Like, and, and we kind of have an example of this. And excuse me if I'm bringing up uh, My Hero Vigilante spoilers. Sorry that I'm going to have to talk about some My Hero Vigilante spoilers. So... Please just skip forward a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to take too long uh, if you if you don't want to hear those spoilers. Um, we see in My Hero Academia Vigilantes, right? Uh, let me get let me get his stick. Let me get his stick out here. That that's going to sound like I'm saying something else. R.I.P. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is the content that we're here for. So this guy right here, our friendly neighborhood Koichi. Koichi, he thinks that his quirk is that he can slide on a surface if uh, his hands are connected to that surface, right? And we see through that throughout the beginning of that series that he pretty much is sliding along walls, sliding along floors and stuff like that. And as the series goes on, he's learning more and more about his quirk. He's learning he can do more things. Like he can shoot air blasts and like do like little things. But one of the things that he does at one point is he just straight up flies, he, like, his quirk that he thinks makes it so that, like, he can glide along to a, a surface with his hands, he can actually use his feet to glide along the air and fly. And that's something that he doesn't really realize that he can do, but his mother explains that that's something that he can do as a child, and he kind of, like, she kind of, like, you know, made him stop doing that, like, hey, stop doing that, like, you know, obviously you don't want your baby flying around the house, um, which led to him taking a more grounded approach of his quirk. But his actual quirk, and we're seeing this more often, is that, like, his actual quirk is that he can fly. It's that his understanding of his quirk is limiting what he can do with it. So we're seeing that here, possibly with Shigaraki also, where Shigaraki, his actual quirk, quirk is probably to actually, de like, control the decay rate of things on, like, a more fine level. But he's thinking that he has to physically touch things. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to... There's, there's an in-universe explanation for why when some people's, like, why people's quirks kind of change and little things about their quirks are different over time. Like, it's not just that is just like, hey, I need to do this power-up for this character here. And I know it sounds like I'm being a little bit of an apologist, but, you know, kind of like, you can kind of see how there's an in-universe reason for somehow 
the way a person use like uses their quirk, like when you're a baby, you don't know anything. You know what I mean? Like you have to figure out how you're going to use your quirk. So the way a person uses their quirk is completely defined on how they think it's supposed to be used. It doesn't mean that that's the way that it's like in, that it is supposed to be used, I guess. Um, so that's one really huge thing that happens in this chapter. We learn that Shigaraki is either able to touch someone and have the people around them decay along with them, or he's just straight up able to Thanos snap and people are just dying and getting erased, which I think would be ridiculous. Now, you would think that that would be the most interesting thing that happens in this chapter, right? But Shigaraki's fight, and accor apparently, according to another, like, strange leak in the Reddit thread, um, Shigaraki, the guy that he ends up fighting, is the feel-good ink guy. If you want to go back to the chapter where the, the Quirk Liberation Army members are, like, covered, it's the feel-good ink uh, Quirk Liberation Army member. Apparently, that guy, I think, is just dead. Uh, I think he's just gone. And I think that same leak also says that Shigaraki loses an arm. Uh, I think he loses his left arm, or so, there's something about his left arm disappearing. But again, that that is a leak that I'm taking a little less like I, I'm going to take that with a little heavier grain of salt. But again, that kind of loops back to the whole thing I've been saying about uh, Horikoshi being such a big fan of Star Wars that there's things from Star Wars that are actually like they're they're in the story. It's just they're present in the story, minus even just apart from the like naming locations. Like, like Dagobah Station and stuff like that from Star Wars. Like, uh, there's just things that are part of the story, right? And Shigaraki having the sort of, like, like losing an arm, just like Anakin lost his arm and, and all that stuff. I think that would be really interesting. And that, that's another parallel to Star Wars that I think Horikoshi would do because he is such a big fan of that series. But, you know, we'll we'll see, I guess. The chapter's going to be out soon, so we'll see if that actually does end up being the case. So like I was saying, you, you would think that that would be one of... I mean, it is one of the most interesting th uh, things that happened in the chapter... But this guy right here, according to some folks, apparently this guy right here makes an appearance in this chapter. And our boy Dobby is setting up his fight for next chapter. So chapter 228 is probably going to feature the Dobby fight. Now, what's confusing, right, is you would think that Dobby would be the last person that they would cover in this arc. Because it seems like they're doing the character gets a little power up. And we see some of their backstory. We learned about Shigaraki's backstory. Now it sounds like Shigaraki has a power-up. We learned about Toga's backstory. Now Toga definitely has a power-up. So, we're hearing that Dobby is going to be fighting against the, the Quirk Liberation Army member whose face we haven't seen mysteriously, which is leading some people to think that it's actually not Suo, uh, the, the Todoroki brother that we met during the Endeavor arc, but I... I've seen someone actually debunk that rather thoroughly, so I'm not really going to go too deep in the, uh, on that. If it does end up being not so, it's a little strange because he's kind of, he's differently shaped and he's just, it, it looks like it's a different person, but we'll see. This person apparently has an ice quirk, which is very interesting. That's very interesting that it's a person with an ice quirk going up against Dobby because this is Horikoshi 1 either teasing that it might actually be not so, so it's kind of potential brother versus brother battle here, right? Um... But it's very interesting because it shows us that Horikoshi is going to show us what it's like for Dobby to fight an ice user. And I think that's really important to see because it kind of like, you know, it just shows us that if Dobby is able to overcome like a user that uses ice, it's going to show us that one, when Todoroki and him fight, because it's, it's going to happen, when Todoroki and him fight, it's going to be more impressive if it's harder for Dobby to melt Todoroki's ice. And that's just a way for an uh, author to kind of wank his character. Um... And also it shows us that maybe Todoroki needs to focus on fire a little more or needs to focus on improving the heat that he has to get over Dobby because maybe ice just isn't something that like logically can be used to threaten Dobby because Dobby's fire might just be that hot. We've seen Dobby just outright cremate people. So obviously his fire is just scorching hot and it's blue and, you know, blue flames, hotter. I'm not going to go through the whole science of fire. So yeah, are we going to see Dobby's backstory? It seems like we might actually finally get the answer to whether or not Dobby is a Todoroki because if Dobby's fight is coming up next, he's fighting an ice dude. I'm sure, you know, I I'm sure we're going to get Dobby backstory to accompany this fight. So be prepared for chapter 228 to possibly include Dobby's actual backstory. And I'm sure next week we're going to be talking. I mean, I I I'm already planning a video about Dobby and that whole confrontation that he had with Endeavor. Um, I was just going to title it Dobby Confronts Endeavor. Um, so we're going to go over that and just continue on with the Dobby is Todoroki theory. Uh, but 
You expect us to be talking about Dobby quite a bit next week and the Todoroki family in general because it seems like we might finally, finally, finally be getting some answers on what's going on with this character. Or Horikoshi could fake us out and the chapter, the cliffhanger might be setting up the Dobby fight and we might start with the twice fight next chapter. So who knows what Horikoshi is going to do and who knows if these leaks are even real in the first place. They were taken from a person, most of them were taken from a person at least, that uh, did correctly spoil the events of last chapter uh of all the things that happened with toga and stuff so they're mostly credible but there are some things in here that come from other users that you know are being translated in the reddit thread and you know just just take it everything take it with a grain of salt and let's see what happens in the chapter is actually released please do actually support the official release it's not that hard to support my hero academia you can just pay for the, the little shonen jump app but there's various ways to support it i know the only uh, way that it might be difficult is if you live in like a region where it's not supported, which I've heard there are many of. And if that's the case, God bless. Um, yeah, these are the spoilers for the chapter. I'm actually going to talk about the chapter this week. Uh, I'm trying to make an effort to do the spoiler videos and an accompanying, uh, accompanying fucking other video, right? So we're going to do them together. We're going to just get it all done. And I'm going to make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that I stay very stable on doing the My Hero uploads because I know that it's something that everyone wants to see. So... I mean, we're done here, so I'll see you guys later. This is Pineapple. Peace.